each project that that I do, whether it's the big ones that happen every two or three years or the kind of smaller projects in between, um, they each have a different why. You know, we 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 find ourselves in different points of our lives with different challenges or different, you know, uh, things going on. There are some kind of solid, immovable whys that kind of, that stay with me. And, and, I, and I think the, the, um, the first thing is, there's some really interesting work being done at the moment, researching the mental health benefits that adventure can, can give us above and beyond mainstream exercise or, or physical activity. Uh, and actually, I'm really proud. I'm, I'm working with a student here at Cardiff Met called Jack Horder at the moment, who's doing research into this very field. Um, obviously, I, I didn't know this 10 years ago, but um, when injury into my rugby career, I, you know, I, 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 I fell off the edge of a cliff uh, and, and it, it was, the darkest period for me, uh, with the darkest thoughts, and I, I think y y learning how to climb was my way out of that dark hole. I didn't really realise the the kind of um, I didn't realise the impact that adventure would have on me at that time. But I certainly wanted something that would push me physically, push me mentally, um, and, and that was scary. <laughs> Um, it was my way of kind of getting control back in my life. And, and fast forward uh, uh, a decade, um, I'm still doing the things that I do, and I'm, I, I, actually, I actually, you know, I'm still kind of pushing myself physically, mentally, and emotionally because actually I, I personally get a lot of growth from that. I personally, I, I really enjoy those kind of self-development opportunities that come in times of adversity and in conditions, uh, in, in hostile conditions. Uh, that kind of resilience, that mental strength, just, just the coping skills around managing the unpredictability, these are all transferable and I transfer these into my day-to-day -day life. So I personally enjoy pushing myself, particularly in extreme and hostile environments because um, it, it, it kind of grounds me here, here in the real world. The second thing, you know, is I, um, we're each put on this planet with a, a unique skill set and, uh, and I think half of our journey is finding that unique skill and that unique value that we can add to the world. <laughs> Bizarrely, mine is this. Um, and actually, you know, once we do have the opportunity to, to, to go fast, once we do have the opportunity to, to, to work at the top of our game, I think, you know, we have a real responsibility to add value, to, to give back and, and, and to make the world a better place. And, you know, in, in, in a small way, relatively small way, you know, the, the, this is, you know, the, the, this is how I can leave the world a better place. And, you know, the, the, the projects I do, are partly about the the, the the physical endeavor, but actually they're becoming more and more about this kind of societal footprint that they leave. And particularly Team Quest, I'm I'm so so proud of what we've done together here with the students at Cardiff Met because it is groundbreaking and it is really freaking cool that you know students were not just we're not just part of it. But together we were right in it. You know, the students lived and breathed the highs, the lows, the failures, the setbacks, disappointments, and and you know the pressure. You know, whether it's the guys in in food technology that were tasked with making my food rations. Um, if if they didn't work, you know that that's my life on the line there, and that was real. Uh, and everyone's responded really well, and, and, and actually the students and the staff here have been a real inspiration to me. So um, I personally get a lot of growth from what I do, but equally I really enjoy, and it's really important to me that, um, that yeah, I'm able to kind of contribute.